Hey, hey, man, Matt the Shoe. We're gonna play Batman Tattoo. Left field. I meet the Joker. And then, um, Uncle the Donald. I called the Chip Gordon, he made me out. I found the. Hold on. Oh, you're yeah, on my phone. My man. Yeah, about Uncle you was too. actually Vicky Vale this entire time. Yep. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Selina? Well, good to know Miss Kyle's keeping in touch from wherever she is now. In other news, if you've noticed the streets of Gotham have been a lot quieter recently, you're not alone. The GCPD has reported a sudden and steep drop in violent crime in the past few days, with the number of 911 calls falling off a whopping 60%. Many are attributing it to the decrease in the visibility yeah, of the terrorist group Children of Arkham, whose members seem to be taking some time What? Off. Or maybe it's just our new Mayor Dent making good on his campaign promise to bring down crime in the city. Either way, the citizens are breathing a sigh of relief. Oh, crap. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. Just leave me the hell alone, Harvey. Trust me, it'll be easier for you in the long run. I was doing you a favor, Bruce. If you want to get ugly, well, that can be arranged. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. Mm. You knew I was interested in Selina. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this... ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. We're done talking. What's going on here? What the well? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Uh, Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Like hell you are. The only way you're searching this car is with two broken arms afterwards. <laughs> oh, I don't think that would be a good idea. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. 
Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. No one run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? Uh... They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Here! It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. Get us home, Al. Fast. Yeah. Can I do a drug? Man, that big bail. Okay, I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. <laughs> you absolutely must get some rest. I have to do something. Don't get in my way, Al. I wouldn't dream of stopping you, but let's address the problem at hand first. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my and DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Hey, pick on two face. It come far. Called the penguin. Did the all come, huh? That is soccer. And then we said.
This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Mm -hmm. Here's my DNA before the incident. Seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to... sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. I'm typing out. No, not that, that way. That way. I got it. That should do it. So this needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Oh, then we gotta hurt. I got any dope. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman, trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. She's a monster. To do what she did. She has no sense of morality. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Yeah. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. Uh. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. Uh, I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. I got it. I got it. Now the time of Batman! I'm inside the Vale House. Amy, what for us? What the hell? Don't let you dead. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, 
Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Oh my god, he pulled his eye out! Holy shit! Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Hmm. Huh. Logo? Nothing. Ah. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. A knife? It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Oh. Why was it lying on the floor? I didn't know why. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. Dead. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Ooh. Deadly. Logo. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Yeah. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. <gasps> There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Oh my god. No blood on the knife. No match. Ah, damn, huh? The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Holy smoke! Damn. Knife. A queen. Hair. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force, based on how clean the slice is. I got it. A hair and a knife. The 
It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly oh lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, hmm. I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. I need happened. to know what happened. No. Tell me what no. you saw. Go away. Why are you hiding? Please, please just leave me alone. Come on. I'm on your side. Get down. <laughs> Penguin. Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. <laughs> Maybe bad. Oh crap. Nice work, kid. Thank you, you helped me. They're dead. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. 
they weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Yeah. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no mm. matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. <laughs> and I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Huh. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, yeah. who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not me more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Come on. I hear the help, come on. That load ain't pretty long. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Mm. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Mm. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. Yeah. The EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Hmm? This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, hmm. I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. What? Yes. That sleaze cabo pot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bugger network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. <gasps> oh, I no. Lord. That would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, 
You'll know we're on to him. Shoot. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. Why? I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he will react either way. We're going to Batman to boot Wayne. I need to talk to him. Uh, it won't work. Okay. I'll go in my bill. I'm at the shoe. Bye.